What's happening, guys? I'm Hyla here for CelebBuzz.com, and joining me in studio is a woman when she's not writing hits, touring the world, or writing on Buzznet.com about her life and what she thinks is cool. Curly is here in the studio with me. What's going on, girl? Woo. How are you? What's up? I'm just chilling. First of all, before I get into these Twitter questions, because we got a ton of them that we want to read off. Obviously, you guys are big fans. We don't, we want to get your questions. In. I want to ask you about your style. You are not afraid to bring it. What is your inspiration? How do you? How does this come together for you every day? Well, this morning I just I had like a bad makeup, hair, and <laughs> fashion day. Okay. So I was 20 minutes late, and uh, this is just thrown together. Gotcha. But I usually like to bring in some, you know, gothic elements and some little creepy elements with cute, I call it bubble goth. There's nothing creepy about eyeballs in your hair. Well, a little creepy. That's totally normal. But it's the good. It's yes, the good it's creepy. it's a good creepy. Yeah. yeah no, no. All right, let's <laughs> jump into some of these tweets already. Last Breath, she wants to know, why only six songs on the EP and why those six? Um, well, you know, Utopia is an album and I guess we can talk about it now since all of them are, are, are saying, is it going to be different than the leaked version, which you're not even supposed to have ever heard? So it's like, it's so funny because the, the Moon Children are writing about, you know, asking about these songs, Last Breath. You're not even supposed to hear that song. I don't know how you, how you even heard that song. But yeah, basically everything that has leaked, it was a full album. The label just decided to release it as an EP first. Uh, there might be some additions to music because, um, you know, I'm always writing, so there are some other things that I might want to put on it, so it might change. But um, Last Breath probably is going to be yes on the album. Is it, It's a good problem to have, though, when your songs get leaked and your fans hear it. I know it's frustrating for the artist because it may be something that wasn't complete or something that you well, don't necessarily wanted to release at this time, but people want it, so that's a good problem to so, have. So, I mean, it is. It is great that people want it, and, you know, I'd much rather have it. I'd much rather have, you know, kids have it than not have it. Right. But, you know, when things leak, like, prematurely, it's hard for an artist because it's, it's things that you've been working, you know, especially when you make an album, it's like you've been working on it a year minimum, you know, you've been working on it a couple years, you have all these visuals in your head. You want to kind of just release it the way that it's supposed to be released. Like what it feels like for me when stuff leaks is like I'm, you know, six months pregnant and I'm going into labor, you know, I'm not ready. Like I'm not ready. It's it's supposed to come with the visuals. It's supposed to come with the world. So it, it, it really, really hurts me, you know, when you guys leak stuff. But Obviously, I'd much rather you hear it than not hear it. So. Okay, let's move on to Addy. Uh, they tweet, would you ever do any more collaborations with Tokyo Hotel? Bet you can make more beautiful songs like Strange. Uh, who knows? We'll see how things go. I have a couple of really exciting collaborations that I'm working on right now, so we'll see how, how everything comes together. Okay, and then Deegan, I think we kind of touched on this a little bit. Uh, are the songs Kaleidoscope, Speed Limit, Last Breath, Supergirl, are, are they all going to have a proper release at some point? Uh, yes, so the EP, I mean, a lot of people have already, I mean, am I, I'm not even supposed to, I can't believe I'm talking about these songs. You're not even supposed to have heard these songs. They probably are going to have a proper release, yes. They're all part of the Utopia family. I might switch some of them out. I, Do you think you'll tweak them now that they've been heard in this capacity? You might go yeah. back in and, and, and change it up a little bit? I might. I might because, you know, it was it, it, the material was mastered a year ago, so obviously I already see fault, you know, and I already want to make it because, you know, sound is just a frequency, and I think frequency is very current, you know. So I don't, I don't like when, you know, I've finished something a year ago and then it has to wait for its time because I wrote it when it felt fresh. So mm -hmm. I don't like when things don't feel fresh. What's interesting, though, I remember uh, listening to an interview with Michael Jackson. He felt that a good song is timeless. It doesn't that matter if true. it comes out in 85 or 95 or 2005. A good song should be a good song no matter when it comes out. So you you true. kind of feel a little bit differently about that, though. That is true. It depends what kind of... There are definitely songs on the EP that, that, that just are songs that are written, you know, in my bedroom with the piano that could come out anywhere. But, you know, I like... I love pop culture, so I like 
the the freshest newest the current, yeah. stuff you know so i want to make it exciting and fresh so it's like you know i I tr really try to make things in the studio that I haven't heard yet. So sometimes the wave catches up, and then when you release something, it sounds like you're following when, in fact, a year ago, nobody was doing stuff like that, you know? Right. Uh, Katie Rodriguez, what is the inspiration behind Sugar? I really like it in the style of the song. Sugar. Sugar is just a really, truly just a fun, sexy song. I did it with Switch. So he you know, brought his UK awesomeness and some two-step. I was trying to just, in general, take these different flavors of dance and just kind of put them all together. So, Sugars, I love that song too. Carlos wants to know, will, will there be a Utopia tour? Hopefully. I'll be definitely playing a lot more shows than I have before, so. And finally, We Are The Lucky Ones wants to know, what is your guilty pleasure? Other than oh. eyeballs in your hair. Let me think. Guilty what pleasure. What is my guilty pleasure? And it has to be it has to be something that I shouldn't do, huh? <laughs> well, yeah, one that you would feel guilty doing. Oh God. I mean, can I be honest, or do I have you to? You be better perfect? be honest. This is a this is a circle of trust here. Oh. If you don't come with the honesty, you're yeah. not welcome back on this show. I like smoking cigarettes when Ooh, I write music. That, that is guilty. That is very guilty. I know. I know. Okay. Well, as long as you're making hit songs, uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see give about you. A, we'll give you a pass how, how for that. Big of hits. Let me ask you: What uh, sound or what artists are you into right now? Who is new out there that you're really feeling that people should also check out? Uh, who is new out there that I, I've been obsessed with? This artist called Holy Other. Mm -hmm. I really uh, also love this artist called Unicorn Kid. His music is kind of like just mad. And uh, I, uh, I think there's this rapper out there, Brooke Candy, that is the shit. Um, oh, there's so many great artists. Well, those are three that people can there's explore. There's so many great artists out there. Just, you know, be they, open. They can explore those. They can catch your new stuff, even the stuff that's not supposed to be out there. Yeah. Uh, Curly, thank you so much for hanging out. And I know on BuzzNet, people can also catch you. You're always out there blogging. Yeah. And, uh, what, what exactly is on there? Quickly, we only have a couple seconds, but what kind of stuff can they, get, can they catch? Uh, you know, just mostly bubble goth, crazy stuff. I like to post about a little slightly weird, creepy stuff and mix it with the cute stuff, so it's just kind of my world. Tune in. Curly, thank you so much, guys. We'll catch you next time. Awesome.